Great. So once again, you're welcome to the session for today. Um, today we'll be looking, uh, we'll be continuing our conversation on LinkedIn advertising. We had started this conversation in the last session. Yeah, in case you missed that, you may want to um, speak with the team at iStone um, to see how you could get access to the replay, right? So if, you, if you're unable to, um, what's it called? If you're unable to be a part of that session, you may want to consider getting the replay because there were quite a number of things that were shared that are really, really, really important, okay? So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now. There seems to be um, a bit of uh, an issue with um, LinkedIn, but let me see. Let me hope that we're able to go through that. Uh, let me see. So yes, yeah, so my screen is sharing. Can you see my screen? I believe you can see my screen. Um, For some reason, my LinkedIn, the LinkedIn website is currently not loading. Uh, I, I heard someone talk about this today, but I was thinking it's a one-off um, situation. Give me a second. Let me do a quick check on my my speed. Okay, my speed is okay. It's not it's not a speed issue. Um, so while while we wait for the LinkedIn website to come up, um, I think it should very quickly. I'll just do a little bit of a a recap on some of our conversations so far. Right. So we had started talking about ads. We had talked about the three various levels. Okay, when it comes to Facebook ads, um, we had talked about that. Um, let me try another browser. We had talked about the three levels when it comes to Facebook ads, or rather LinkedIn ads, rather, not Facebook ads. And I said that it's similar. LinkedIn ads is similar to um, to Facebook ads, right? So they, are, they have a lot of similarities, a lot of it. Um, so some of those similarities are the things we are using as a foundation for what we do. Okay, okay, I think it's up now. Finally up. Great. So my LinkedIn is up. Let's go to advertising. It's up, but it's slow. So I'm trying to see if I can maybe use a different um browser if it will be faster. Okay, so all right, let me sign in with a one-time link very quickly. For some reason the, the Chrome browser is a bit slow today, all right? So um, but we're going to advertising. That's where we're going to. Let's see if that place will be faster to open. The campaign manager. Our focus for today, for the next few minutes, um, about 40 minutes or so, would be how to how to put together an ad creative that will be highly converting. Now, when it comes to advertising generally, right, uh, especially at this time, we have gotten to a time where uh, a lot of people, okay, the, the, the lot of us that run ads day to day, we have seen that one of the major factors that can be the reason why um you know someone is either having a, a great um what's it called result in terms of ads or not is the creative not really the targeting and a lot of all, all those other things that it was before so there's a time when if you want to get a great result you must be using certain kinds of targeting you must be able to know how to go about targeting in this way or targeting in that way right so that, that was actually a time but we have gotten to, to that time where those that are those that will get the best results from advertising are not those that have the best of targeting, but those that have the best of creatives. Because and the reason for that is because um artificial intelligence and so many algorithms have been able to help create. And let me stop sharing my screen while, while I try to put this up. Have been able to help create um a better way to target people. So targeting is now is now more efficient than it was before. All right, I will follow in. So if targeting is more efficient than it was before, the people that we would win are not people that, um, what's it called, are learning just targeting, which we've already talked about, but people that um that are able to make creatives, all right, that can convert, creative that can both attract attention first and then beyond attracting attention, okay, um creatives that can actually convert so that's what my focus will be for today how to make linkedin ad creatives that can help you convert and if you're writing definitely um that's something that you may want to you may want to put down all right so our, our linkedin is now up and i'll share my screen so that we can all learn from this i, I believe we're all ready to to learn we have a few minutes for today but i'll make the best of it um no matter how little it is i'll make sure that we learn something efficient today so um, this is the account we had created. Um, we had called it um Steven Ads account at the time. So let me just go into that very quickly. Um, I had talked about the fact that in advertising, you know, 
well, there is the campaign group, there's the campaign and there's the ads. So we have talked about the campaign groups already. I won't repeat that. Um, inside of the campaigns groups, you then create a campaign. So there's campaign group and then there's campaign, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a campaign here. I'll call this campaign um, inside of this group. I'll call it, let me call it AY Stone Villa campaign, okay? Now we talked about some of these things, some of the reasons why, why these objectives would be. So there's the awareness objective, which is when you want to have brand awareness. There's the consideration objective, which is when you either want to send people to your website or you want to create more engagement. That's you want likes, you want comments. If you want your ad to have likes and comments, you go with this. If you have a video and you want a lot of people to view your video, let's say you did a video of your property, you want a lot of people to view your video, you go for this third one. And then if you want people to send you messages, you go for this last one. These are the consideration objectives. So website visits, if you have a website, engagement, if you want people to like or comment or share your, your posts, video views, if you have a video messaging, if you want people to send you a message. Then conversion campaigns, we have the one for lead generation. This is one that a lot of you should be doing, right? Um, so you want to be able to generate leads from people. You want to get their info so that you can follow up with them. So I'll definitely recommend lead generation as, a, as an objective. Second one here is majorly for recruiters, talent leads. All right, so this is majorly for recruiters. Website conversions is if you want to sell directly on your website. For most high cost, high net worth products or um, um, for most products that are high end, selling directly from your website is always a, a hassle. So most times you, people don't just buy a product of say 15 million naira just by seeing a website link. You want to be able to do another touch. So maybe you may not use this a lot. You most likely use this more. And then this last one is also for recruiters. So we're going to use, for this example, we're using lead generation as our um, campaign objective, all right? And I've explained why we're using lead generation. It just helps you to get the details of people that are interested in what you're showing them. That's why lead generation is, is being selected for now. Um, next thing would be the target audience. And we've talked about um, audience before now, but I'll just do a quick um, run through it again uh, before I have to go. So for audience, you can first select location. Where are they? Okay, you can select the entire Nigeria. You can select just a part of Nigeria, maybe Lagos, if you want to select Lagos. Okay, so you can just go ahead and select Lagos states, Lagos, Lagos state, Nigeria, um, Lagos island, Lagos mainland, depending on what you want, right? So I'll just, I'll select Lagos state, Nigeria for now. So Nigeria, Lagos state, Nigeria as campaign objectives, okay? So we have saved that. Now, the next thing you want to do is, instead of just targeting everybody in Lagos or in Nigeria, you want to narrow this. The question is, who, wh what kind of people are you targeting? Um, are you targeting people that have certain job roles, right? So I can click on narrow audience folder and I can search for, I can search for either the interests of the audience or their job roles. For example, if I want to target, let's say I assume that people that have, that are CEOs, for example, right? They have more money. So I want to target only CEOs. I can go to audience attributes here. Can you see audience attributes? I'll click on audience attributes and I'll search for CEO, for example. Um, normally it's supposed to actually be chief executive officer. So if your title is chief executive officer, I can target you. If your title is managing director, I can target you. If your title is country manager, you know, director general, chief financial officer, president. So all these titles, are ti they are not titles of people that just graduated from university, true of us. So they are titles of people that have um, specific kind of roles, founders, chief technology officers. Now, this is the advantage of LinkedIn over you know, um, Facebook and, and Instagram, because for LinkedIn, you can target people based on their job roles, not just based on what they like. You understand? So this is an important way to target people that have a certain kind of net worth by being able to know what job roles they have. You can also narrow the audience for that. Let's say you don't want to just target people that have those job roles, which we have, select, we have selected these job roles already, but you want to target people that are interested in something. So let me click ahead and go to under interest. I'll search for real estate. So yes, you are a managing director, but you are also interested in real estate. So I can I can also search for um, so real estate, right? So the person is this, all right? And also has an attribute of real estate, like maybe the industry of the person, that's an option. But if I want to remove this, I can also go ahead 
and target instead of this, right? Let me click on close. I can target people based on other things they are interested in. Okay, so there, there is always the there's always you trying to target people based on either their 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 job title, their industry, or their skills, right? Then there's also targeting people based on what some of the things that they are interested in, right? So what do you think these type of people would be interested in? These are the things, these are the questions you need to ask, and those are the selections that you need to make around this place. When you're done with that audience, because these are some things you would you go to select. I think what, what I'll do is I'm going to uh, make a list of possible targeting that you can use for as a as a realtor, and I'll most likely send that to um to the team at, at iStone so that you guys can have some possible target audiences that you can use for your campaigns. Okay. Um so I'll send that across. Now that that list will not be exhausted. So don't just depend on it. All right. Um use it as a base, but expand upon it. The good thing is that you can always ask for suggestions um, from LinkedIn. LinkedIn also gives suggestions, okay? Um, so let me continue. So now we have we have talked about audience. Now let's go to the ad format. And this is where most of the focus for tonight it would be. Um, I will, I hope we're able to finish it. If we're not, if we're not able to finish it, we'll do um, a part of ads, ad creative today. And then the next, and I think the next one, the next class is most likely the final class. We'll do we'll complete ad creative and then we'll talk about analytics. Now that's the that's one other major thing. Please don't miss the next class. We'll be talking about analytics, how to analyze using LinkedIn ads. All right. And we are like um we are five minutes away to the end of the session. So how to analyze using LinkedIn ads is one of the things to talk about in the next class. Now, when it comes to ad formats, right? There are different ad formats you can use. Okay. Um, different ad formats. You can use the single image ad format. Single image ad format is um it's actually an ad format that allows you to run an ad using just a picture, using maybe a picture, a flyer, provided it's one image. You can use this format for that. Once it's one image, all right, you can use that. Now, if you have multiple images, right, you have a picture of the inside, of the outside, of the, you know, the, the swimming pool, the kitchen, you can use a carousel. A carousel um, format allows you to have different images that are that, that can scroll. So, Someone can easily scroll the images to the right and they will see more pictures. That's how the carousel format works. Okay. So that's the second ad format. Now, the third ad format is video. Let's say you, you've done like a, a great video of your real estate um, property, whatever it is, right? You can use video to be able to get your audience engaged and you can select the video ad format for that. There are also other ad formats that are not very popular in real estate, but I'll just mention them, right? So there's the message ad format. If you want people, if you want to send um, your ad as a message to people directly, um, some of you, you may have gotten a message from some from someone you're not, that is not following, you're not following on LinkedIn. So sometimes you can run an ad and it will land in someone's um, inbox on LinkedIn. They have that, that feature. Okay, they have a feature that allows you to send ads directly to the inbox of people. All right, then there's also conversation. Okay, so conversation is also is kind of related to message, right? Um, but the, the difference between um conversation and message to a large extent is that when it comes to um conversation, right, you are actually going to display the ad that you that you've created. It will be shown inside of the the inbox of someone that is most likely to buy. So conversation is, is more sales oriented than messaging. It's actually more sales oriented than messaging, so that's one major trend between both of them, right? So it, it has it it has a bit more features than messaging. Although for real estate, because this is a real estate class, um, most of the times my recommendation is always one of these three at the top, right? And the last one is document. Document is like a a a piece of long text. Let's say you have a lot to share, you can use document to share, um, you know the things that you have to share, right? So for 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 this class, for the sake of this class, I'll focus on these three. So single image or carousel or video, all right? Now, just to use an example. I'm going to be using video for this one, all right? Or let me just use single image. But most of the times for real estate, I'll recommend video. Video just, it immerses people into the the the, the feel of what you're talking about, what you're selling. So if you're selling a, prop, a, piece, a, a property, right? A video can just captivate people. Remember what I said at the beginning, that at this time, those that, um the ads that uh, perform the best are the campaigns that have a very engaging creative. Once the creative is engaging, it has a higher chance of performing well, as opposed to you know when it's just not engaging. All right. So the video campaign ad format is what I would definitely recommend. Okay. 
Um, and then for placements, definitely I recommend you to place the, your ads on both LinkedIn and also the LinkedIn audience network. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what LinkedIn audience network is, right? LinkedIn audience network is different platforms that are affiliated with LinkedIn so that LinkedIn can show their ads there, all right? Unfortunately, not every objective or ad format, all right, supports LinkedIn audience network, okay? Um, for example, this one does not support it, but that's still okay because your ad will show up on LinkedIn, which is the main place we are targeting. And that's like placement. Um, I would be, I'll be rounding up at this point, but I, I know that there's still some things, there's still a lot I want to share. It's just that because of where I am at the moment, I'm unable to continue. Um, I was thinking I'll be back home before the time for the meeting, but uh, I was able to make it. So I had to, I had to, um, I'm currently actually doing this from inside of a car. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to round off at this point. But then what I'll do is um first of all, I had said I'm going to send a list of um target audiences that realtors can use for LinkedIn ads. I'll send a list of that. I'll send it through the team. Um secondly, what I'll be doing would be I'm going to give you a guide on how to how to um what's it called, how to budget. I think I'll do that. I'll start the next class with that. When it comes to budgeting for Nigeria. Um, I always recommend that you start with what the minimum is. The minimum budget for LinkedIn at the moment is $10. Now, that is why a lot of people don't use LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn ads are relatively higher price than Facebook ads. You can't use less than $10 per day for LinkedIn ads. All right? You can't use less than $10 per day. And $10 currently in Naira is going to almost 15000 Naira at the moment, if it's no more already. So it's around 15,000 Naira per day on LinkedIn. That's the minimum budget. You can't go below that. You can go above, but you can't go below that. Below, below that. So whether you're setting as a daily budget or as a lifetime budget, when you calculate it all together, your minimum budget must be $10 per day, all right? So I'll, be, I'll round off here. Um, And, you know, in our next session, I'm going to just pick it up from here and then we'll be able to go deeper into not just ad creative, but... Um, the, the next class was supposed to focus on analytics. So I'll make sure I get to analytics next class. If I need to add more time, I will do that just to make sure that within the next class, we're able to talk about not just not just running off on ad creative, we're able to talk about how you can analyze your campaign because that's that's the real that's where the real work comes. When you set up a campaign and it's not doing well, what do you do? Do you know how to optimize? That's the major, that's what differentiates professionals and those that are just starting. Setting up the ad may not be as difficult as knowing what to do when it's not going well. So I want to take out time and really show you how to optimize an ad so that it can perform better when it's not doing well at the beginning. All right? Um, so pardon me, I'll have to drop off at this point, but thank you so much, everyone, for being a part of the session tonight. Um, I want to believe that although it was a very rushed session, that I got to learn a um, couple of things that you can get started with. Um, we're still going to have another session and I'll still you know, do a follow-up on this. Um, and also continue with both the ad creative side of things and also analytics. Really, really important. Okay, but um, this is the the session for for tonight. And every single session, like I said, has its own value to give. All right. So I can see Husseini Husseini saying, uh, "Thank you for this great value. You're welcome." Um, thank you once again to the team at iStone. Thank you for having me and for having me facilitate the sessions. Um, have a wonderful evening, everyone. I'll have to run because, uh, like I 